Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send a Twilio text message via API. Here we are in the Twilio docs, and over here to the right, we can see the code that we're going to use to make the post call to the Twilio API. So it looks like we're going to need the account SID, a Twilio number to send off the text messages, a short message, along with the phone number of the end user that we're going to be sending the message to. And then down at the bottom, you can see along with the account SID, we also need our auth token. You can find your account SID, your auth token, along with your Twilio phone number in the console of your Twilio account. To make the post call, I'll be using TypeBot. Going back to the Twilio docs, we're just going to grab this URL that you see here. And then you'll swap out your account SID with this placeholder. After you paste in the URL, we need to pass in two headers an authorization key along with the basic authentication that I'll explain in just a bit. And then for the next key, it'll be the content type along with this value. If you're finding this tutorial helpful, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Going back to the Twilio docs, it says right here that HTTP requests to the API are protected with an HTTP basic authentication. I don't think the Twilio docs do a very good job of simply explaining what that looks like because it's missing a key part right here. So we need to enter the first header key as authorization and then pass in the value of basic space, your account SID colon, and then the auth token. The next key isn't really that straightforward either. I couldn't find this value in the Twilio docs. I actually had to look it up with ChatGPT. The next part is passing in the phone numbers along with the message and the body of your post call. Make sure your keys are capitalized like you see in this format. So next I'm gonna do a test call. I'm gonna pass in this phone number and then test the request. And here you can see a status code of 201, which means that this is a successful request. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.